Today, we are going to have a treat. Lena is going to cook, to actually give us her recipe called Lena's Fruitcake. And I'm telling you from what she's told me, it is going to be a great recipe. And I know all of you ladies are going to want a copy of this. I know I do. Um, now, Lena, in case you haven't seen the other video yet, I'm going to reiterate, she is very talented. She's a musician. She composes her own music. She's composed 40 songs this year alone. She's a poet. Uh, she has a, a book of poetry also. Um, and she's an artist, a painter, and she does graphics. Uh, she has her own graphic company called Carolina, Carolina Arts. And uh, she lo loves photography. Uh, she does a lot of her own photo photographs and she has designed the covers of her six books which she has published. And um, some of her books were like poetry, they were devotionals. And I want to uh, show really quick like before we let Lena read her poem she has written just for this occasion. I'm going to show several of her books. This are just a couple of her books. One is called For His Glory Poetry by Lena Air Kittrell, and the other one behind that is called Revealed Truth. It's a devotional by Lena. Now we're going to get back to this poem that Lena has written just for this occasion today of us videoing Lena's fruitcake and her baking this fruitcake. Okay, Lena. Thank you, Marnie. Uh, my poem is entitled The Fruitcake. In times way back when, you could hear the wind, it whipped up quite a breeze, and in the winter it would freeze. Christmas time was very near to greet those we hold dear. Mom would make a fruit cake, and in the oven it would bake. Flour, eggs, butter, sugar too. Red and green cherries, for sure. Raisins, coconut, pecans. She put love in the dish pan. She would cook it all until done. And it was always the best one. I wonder if I can pass the test. Today, I will try my best. First of all, we have to have some things to use for the fruitcake. Uh, these loaf pans, you need loaf pans, and you need to grease them thoroughly, bottom and all around, and then you put this brown paper from a grocery bag. A grocery bag, wow. Or either, you could buy this paper, uh, and you put it in there, and you put the, make sure you grease the paper really well, mm -hmm. and you ha it takes three of these loaf pans. Right, okay. And so we get them ready, and so now, and keep a and keep a dish rag. Yeah, handy. keep a wet <laughs> dish rag. Right. Okay, we need this bowl for the cherries and the other ingredients with a large spoon. Right. And then we need this smaller spoon with this pan size for the dough. Okay. And you need a mixer. Right. To where, mix the right. dough. Where would we be without that? Right, <laughs> exactly. So now we're going to start with putting the ingredients together. Uh, first of all, we're going to take the butter, two sticks of butter, mm -hmm. or margarine, but I use margarine and I would tell you the brand, but maybe we can't tell it on the video. Right. But anyway, I'm going to use a cup of sugar. Okay. Cup of sugar. sugar. And this two is. cups of flour. Okay, and you've got these pre-measured, don't you? And these are pre-measured. Okay. And we also use five eggs. Five. Okay. Five eggs beaten. Okay, and you've got this all done. This is great. It took you some time and to do this. <laughs> then this is butternut flavoring. Okay. You can use vanilla if you'd rather. Mm -hmm. But I like the butternut flavoring. But Lena's fruit cake has the butternut flavor. Right, it right. Does. <laughs> so, and then you need a spoon to measure your butternut flavoring. So, right, right. 
So then, first of all, you put your sugar in the bowl mm -hmm. and make sure it's mashed up good because that had a few lumps in it. Get all the lumps out, in other words. Yeah, get all the lumps out. Right. And um, then you want to put your margarine in okay. or your butter. Mm -hmm. And um, and you first of all be sure and leave it out. Okay, so I was going to say you have left this out and it's very soft, right? Yeah, leave it out so okay. it can be very soft. Leave out your two and, sticks with margarine, right? Right, and you then you just okay. put it in your this. put it okay. in your sugar. Then you blend it together. Right. And as you're blending, you might start adding. And as I said, you have five eggs. Okay. And the five eggs, you have to whip them up good. Right. So they'll be whipped up good. Okay. And then you could put some of the egg in there to help it. Um, now, you know, if you have... I used to have to help my grandmother make regular cakes, and she'd make me pour the ingredients while she stirred. Uh -huh. It's always good to have a little granddaughter or somebody around yeah, to help is. do that too. <laughs> if you have a granddaughter, that's right. Who can be here to help you make the cake? That's even I've better. I have a granddaughter, but she's, she's just not here today. She's not here right now. <laughs> but I used to do that for my grandmother, and she'd pay me a dime. And if you could, uh, Marty, if you don't mind mm -hmm. showing this, that oh, yeah. how I'm much at how much that blended it just oh, to yeah. add a little bit of egg. Well, see, I thought you were going to put a bunch of milk in here, and you didn't. No. Right, so that is something different to me. Yeah. Egg and the butter are enough. Yeah, and then you put the, um, the two cups of flour. Right. And you put it in there. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't, I wouldn't chuck it all in that one time. Right. <laughs> I'll add the rest of these eggs in here. Uh, okay, there go the eggs. And and make sure you don't go too fast to start with. Right, just go on low. And, and then first, speed right. up a little bit. Exactly. Okay. Because it might slap it on you if you Oh yeah. Them. I have done that many times. <laughs> and just cream it nicely together. Right. Now see that's all nicely. Oh. Yeah. Smoothed off together. Look at that. Yes, it is. Okay, now we set this aside. Mix the fruit and nuts and together. Okay, we can start with these raisins. We're gonna put them in the pan and the green cherries. And these are candied fruit. Right. The red cherries. going to put these are pear preserves. Now this I've never seen. Well, mm -hmm. pear preserves. Right. And these are homemade pear preserves too, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. Pear preserves. Okay. Now we're going to put the pecans in here. Okay. And the coconut. I love coconut, so that's my favorite. I love coconut too. Good. I'm sure a lot of people do. Yeah. You either like it or you don't. Now see, we got a big bowl full here. Right, sure do. And now we want to mix all these ingredients together. Goodness. Now I'm going to make a mention of you don't put citron right. in this cake. That's those little hard pieces that you usually have. Well, in the it's candy like fruit. it's like um, orange peel, lemon right. peel, and different peel. Right. They've got it colored different colors, mm -hmm. but a lot of times it makes the cake hard. Right. And so a lot of people are turned off by the cake because of that. It's hard, right? And um, plenty of people like a lot of nuts and fruit, mm -hmm. but they don't care for the citron. Exactly. And I've noticed that people. 
like they really like it better if you got a lot of red and green cherries. Oh yeah. We're gonna add this flour to okay. it. Okay. Now this is, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you put flour in it. Mm-hmm. I remember my mother putting flour on hers, her fruit at least. You put it on right. there to keep it from falling to the bottom okay. of the pan. Okay, now I see, I did not know that. So that's a little secret to keep it from going to the bottom. This is a, a recipe that Lena would be glad to send out to any of you who want it. Uh, she will actually send it to you. Print it out on a piece of paper like this. The Old Time Way by Snail Mail. And um, she will send it actually, like I said, to uh, the U.S. Mail. That's the Old Time Way you ordered a recipe. Now, she will send you the recipe but we we do ask that you make a little contribution you know for the the um the postage which a stamp is almost 50 cents now <laughs> alone so we wanted to ask a dollar but because of the postage and she she prints it up like really pretty and festive with the color printing so we, she has a little more expense we're asking for two dollars send it in an envelope address to lena Ketrell, and this is the address and she will send you this recipe back the old time way <laughs> <laughs> because this is um this is a home a home recipe this is Lena's own recipe Good. she also has an email down here too if you want to email her but she will still be glad we want you to have it printed out like this this is how Lena wants to send out the recipes mm -hmm. it's basically like a personal little letter you're gonna get from Lena with the recipe Okay, now we have the uh, ingredients totally mixed with the flour, and now we're going to mix it with our dough. Right. So what you want to do is put a little in there. Oh, I would have poured the whole thing, Lena. <laughs> well, it's best not to. I see. And if you uh, send for the recipe, it'll have the... Um, specific ingredients you need right because we we didn't we didn't go through all the specifics because we really want you to have this this printed out recipe from Lena a more personal thing so yeah all the ingredients exactly are will be on the recipe when you send for it now we're going to get ready to put this in the pan so you just put it over in your loaf pan now we go We'll Make fill up this one pan. Well, okay. actually, you don't fill the pan oh, you up. you don't? Okay. You don't fill the pan oh, up. See, what you this do? this is interesting. You put um, about mm -hmm. three-fourths full. I see. Okay. And mm -hmm. don't get too much in there because mm -hmm. you've got to give it room to it's rise. It's got to rise. Exactly. See how much I know about cooking cake? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now we're going to put the um, cake in the oven. Right. And remember we have three of them. Oh my goodness it is and it's pretty hot too. Let me see. Okay. Look. Oh my goodness. That looks really good. Okay. Okay. Alright, guess what? The cake's all done. And look. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Looks delicious. Boy, it sure does. And look, I'm going to give Marty this nice slice right here. Oh, yes, that's mine. To go on her plate. Okay. All right, Marty. Thank you. And then I'm going to get me a little slice and see what it tastes like. Right. Oh my, mine broke a little mm -hmm. bit. We'll get it. This is going to be good, I know that. Okay, and a little <laughs> apple cider to go with it. Okay. Boy, we're we're gonna have a wonderful little a party now. I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, it's delicious. Mm, delicious. It? Oh, it is. Mm. Well, thank you, Lena. This has been a blessing to my, myself, and I know it will be to everyone else. Thank you, Marty.